All right, well, this is a collection by D. Swizzy, and it's just a collection of shitty DOS games that um, I don't understand where these came from. I I've checked a couple of them out, and they are, in fact, terrible, mostly. So why don't we start with Bolsaijo Duck, since I just played a duck game. The MS-DOS is really just home to impressive, impressive video games, some of which barely work, some of which have very low frame rates. But I'll show you now. Oh my god. Duck, 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 duck. Tonight is duck stream. All right, so this is, uh, it says duck, but it also says Bolsaijo duck on the folder. So I don't know if this is an official title or what. Uh... Oh, God. Oh, come on! What the fuck happened to my duck? It's a space shooter. It's Action 52 games, but with a duck. The coolest thing this duck has is the ability to throw its shield. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Ducks killing bees. It's like vine sauce. Wow. I mean... I don't really know what to say. It's not the worst thing I've ever played. It's I don't know why it's a duck. It's just a duck shooting game. <laughs> I guess they ran out of every possible combination of spaceships. Like, every spaceship was designed already and put in another game because these games were cloned times 10,000. So I'm assuming they just said, you know what, fuck it. Make it a duck. Um, here's one that I had some problems with, unfortunately, but I'm going to see if it works. It is called Action Fighter. And, uh, it, it's really... It's really confusing. And it doesn't fit on my screen. Okay, so... There's a mouse over here that I can't use. So I should just put that, you know, on the table right away. It looks like there's a mouse. But it's, it's an unusable mouse. Right? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to full screen it and hope for the best. Okay, now I have full resolution. So, these are the options. Great, right? Good. Man. Let me make sure I'm loading the real one. Act.exe. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got a little further than that. Like, that isn't the furthest I've seen. Not that I remember. But, okay, we'll select green. All right, green, I think, is start game. And maybe not. Oh, man, I love 
trying to get these old shitty DOS games to work. It gives me life. I also like how my uh, window capture every now and then decides to reset completely. Here, we'll go for this one. This has got to be start game. <laughs> that translates to enter the error. Okay. All right, we'll try one more color. Though I can't really, I can't really see a reason why start game would be the final option. You know? No, it's... So... Yeah, I wouldn't expect all of these games to work. So don't have high expectations. But this one's called Adventure of Ziz. Z-I-S. Ziz? Oh boy. Oh god, why does that sound familiar? I did this one already, right? Or no? No? <laughs> That's how the game starts. It almost <laughs> it almost sounded like Donkey Kong music. Wait for it to come back around and you'll hear it. The melody almost goes Donkey Kong. Second check. Third check. Killed a squirrel. That that was the title screen. <laughs> kind of looks like he's got a gaping asshole in the middle of his face. Actually, here it is. Almost Donkey Kong yet again. Vinny, I think that was the anti-piracy. Did I somehow just guess the correct copyright protection? So you're telling me I entered the correct password by accident- Oh my god, that finger's a dick. That's like a chojular dick. I'm not okay with this game. Wow, those graphics. So I'll add that to a list of my many glorious achievements in life that I accidentally guessed anti-piracy copyright stuff. So not Link has to play through these not Super Mario levels. Collecting diamonds and killing small animals, I guess? Oh, there's Hootie. DOS was not a very good time for video game uh, platformers, I have to say. I don't I don't think I've ever played like an amazing platformer on MS-DOS. I've played a couple decent ones like the Gianna Sisters, <laughs> but there wasn't anything that blew me away. DOS was good for like adventures. If you want to go on a, an underwater adventure, MS-DOS has got you covered. I'm sure people know way more games about, you know, platformers on the DOS than I do. I don't know that many. I've not played that many. You, uh, most of the DOS games I played were in school. Did my character just strip down to his underwear? Get, get out of the way, I'm trying to platform. What the fuck? It's amazing frame rates that we've got going on here. Did my character just strip? What was the, oh, wait a minute. Come on, get up there. Or not. 
Oh, I have a yo-yo now. Kill the rabbit? No. I I don't know how much more of this I can handle. It seems like a grapple attack, right? However, I can't grapple up. I can only go left or right. Just, just keep being almost Donkey Kong music. That was um, interesting. Battle Europe is next. Battle Europe. Couldn't double jump. I couldn't do a whole lot. It was really a very limiting experience. I feel, I feel much more restricted in my life now that I've played that game. All right, this is gonna be real dear, the real, <laughs> real deal. This is no Mickey Mouse shit, as Tommy Wiseau would say. Oh, uh, DOS box has stopped working. Okay, so I guess never mind this one, maybe. What is happening with these drums? What the fuck is the drummer doing? Stanky off time drum solos in the middle of a song. I love it. Oh boy. All right. Well, looks like I'm not going to be able to figure this one out. Please input passcode. Yep, that's the one. It's blank. Look at these tremendous frame rates. See if I can increase the frame cycle, CPU speed. Oh. Eh, not really. Ugh. A nice, like, stanky horn happening, too. Yeah, most of what's on display tonight will be like foreign bootlegs and just terrible games from overseas. So, I mean, that's that's what D Swizzy put together for me, and it seemed like a good night for this. So, wow, I'm having so much non-fun. My full four degrees of motion—that is so confusing. Bomb. B-O-M. I got this. <laughs> it was terrible! Oh man, it was so bad. You know you're in for a bad experience when the MIDI is higher quality than the sound effects. These sound effects... Sound like they were recorded from a computer microphone. Just bust through the wall. Pow? No, I want pow. Well, I guess you can kind of destroy everything, so that's that's a bonus. Including enemy shots. You know, if this game didn't control so terribly and have really bad frame rate issues and ass sound effects and kind of 
everything else was better, too, maybe it would be okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know how to get over there. Controls are too bad. I gotta, I gotta stop this. Here, I'll, I'll do the job for you. Like I said, no Mickey Mouse shit right here. It's fucking real. Mild seven. Marbo Chen. Five 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 cow. Are you a bad enough dude to get on the leaderboards? So that's Battle Europe. This is <laughs> this is battle. I'm now laughing at the fucking game names, and I shouldn't be, because it's not funny. Battle of the Martial Arts. But I can just, like, like, my game, uh, my game, my brain writes the game in my head. Like, I can see it in my head before I start the game. Art. Here, slowly walks the wise old master. Okay. This game has some graphics. Tommy Wiseau appears in shadow form. Fuck Tommy. This is why you give Tommy any Oscar that he wants. Dramatic zoom into the wizard's mouth. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! I've never seen that before. I've never seen a handprint like, indented in a skull like that. That's really good. That's an impressive, impressive kung fu. You do not understand my style! The video is really behind the audio. Yeah, that's just the game. <laughs> I have nothing to do with that. Suddenly this. Um, who do you want to be? I, uh... There you go. Oh, so it's a fighting game. Oh boy. They're vibrating. Music. <laughs> but yeah, this is funny. It's the movements that are funny. <laughs> Everything is so fluid. Check out my stoil! Guy Bang? Really, the character's name is Guy Bang? Like, I don't even have to do any of the commentary. Just, just let it- do, let the game do the work for me. <laughs> I'm okay, I swear. Every now and then, we get a sound effect. It's not loud. It may not be recorded well. But it's there. Including some kind of- We get some voice acting, too. I think Guy Bang is having a couple words. Pounded in the butt by Guy Bang. Chuck Tingle's newest work. I, I, 
don't know. I mean, you know, playing a game on the keyboard, like a fighting game, isn't very fun to begin with. But especially... an MS-DOS game like this. Oh, man, really? Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, this is gonna be one of those, like, existential matches. I don't- oh, no. Guys. Can- can someone just capture a frame of this dude's leg? I'm not gonna say what I think it looks like. But I don't like it. Oh, wow, you can do combos. Hadoukens are possible. God, that leg is so fucking nasty looking. There's like varicose veins on it. It looks like a couch, I agree. It looks like a couch. What is your style? I don't want to play this anymore. Here's a hint. Shaolang won. Alright. Next is... Um... Uh, China Pro Baseball? Star Trek theme? Base ball. The final frontier. This is gonna be a shit show. Whoa! Whoa! 3D graphics! Whoa, whoa! Does that say China Pro Baseball? This music sounds so victorious yet so oppressive at the same time. wasn't what I thought it was. That was a baseball bat and a sickle? <laughs> okay! I'm ready to play. Let's do this. Everything's exploding. Holy shit, I just want to play the game. I'm trying so hard to play the game. But just things are coming at me. faces. <laughs> There's one- that guy's got a good one. There's one guy with a good one in particular. This is- this whole game is just reaction faces. Th these are just meme faces. Just ripe for the picking. You know, I'm still trying to start the game. That one right there is amazing! You know which one. I still can't- I cannot play this game. Dad, there's another one! Alright, I'm ready. Oh, 
Okay. I'm ready to play the game. <laughs> this is gameplay? I'm pre I'm pressing everything. And I I also um I also tried pressing buttons on my controller just in case, but that's that's the game. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Vin, that was awesome. How do I get more of that? And the answer is, I got you, bro. China Pro Baseball 2. Maybe. Ah. God damn it. I, I need to show you something. So it says here. Type CPB2 to play ball. Illegal command. All right. Come on, come on, load, load, load. Fuck it. Next is Dragon Ball Z 2. The death of Vegeta. Oh shit, so this is gonna be a spoiler stream then. Sorry, everybody, but vegetables must die. Maison de Bulma. I can't... Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> um... <laughs> what? How, how do I move? I don't know how to move! Uh, holy fuck. Whoa, look, I can go Super Saiyan at will! Nice fake Star Wars music. <laughs> these, these graphics and animations are so good. Oh, no, 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 keep going right. I, 
I have... I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> I love the hands. I'm trying so hard to jump. I, I can't stop but do big bong attack. Wait a second. I think I found out how to fly, but I can only fly in one direction. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay, I'm now just holding the 9 button on my keyboard. I have not pressed anything else. <laughs> well, well, there you go. You just witnessed it. In the end, he really did die. Like, like how my, my character just went through the floor there. Some really, really, really quality sound effects, as you can tell. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's, I gotta do some platforming here, otherwise I'll kill Vegeta again. I don't want to do that. Did I win? Something with Frieza is happening. I think I won. Is that a cigarette? What the fuck did I just witness? I, I have no idea how I'm supposed to be able to do this. I guess I just have to fly over them. <laughs> Vegeta is <est> mort. <laughs> oh my god. What what manner of fever dream did we all just experience? Vegeta is day out. Vegeta is mort. Uh, oh no, I don't like the name of this one. It's called Father World. <laughs> Why is that funny to me? Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Twim Game Lab. That's a nice fart... Fart core music happening as, as the title screen, Father World, appears.
This isn't love as a battlefield, is it? It's father. Run. I need some subtitles, please. <laughs> uh, okay. This seems related to the previous thing that we just saw. Also, these DOS games can't decide if they want loud or low sound effects compared to the music. But we got some fucking anime death stares happening here. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, did fucking Toriyama do this game? Oh my god. <laughs> see, did you understand now when I see this? This is what I think anime is. I can't help it. I'm just a Baka Gaijin. You understand? I don't know the difference. Because I play trash streams, I see this, and I'm like, oh, this is anime. No wonder I'm all fucked up when it comes to the Japanese cartoons. I don't get them. Are they mad at each other, or... Is that anger? Or are they maybe about to kiss? Maybe there's a culture gap that I'm not seeing? Father world. Oh, this- this isn't Japanese. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's about to get Power Rangers. I don't have an attack button as far as I can. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is that supposed to happen? <laughs> oh, is the Dark Lord's plan all along? fairly elaborate death scene. Thank you for playing Father World. <laughs> well, well, God bless. I feel really good about that. I feel like I know anime now. I finally get it. Fox Ranger. Subsection present. Whatever that was.
the year is 2044. The father world has been destroyed. Day after day, we pretend it's okay. This motherfucker, it's a wolf man. Kind of reminds me of Zero Wing a little bit. I thought that was maybe like cats, if you know who that is. Fuck, Ranger. Ranger. Fuck. Ranger. Is this gonna be a bootleg? This is gonna be a bootleg Star Fox, isn't it? Never mind. It's gonna be a bootleg R type. I should be grateful that the explosion sounds aren't horrendously loud and terrible. But that's an explosion sound? Baseline kind of sounds like the Zero Wing song, doesn't it? Move Zig. Yeah, I like the duck game better. What? Flushing right here. Fashion deer. Fuck you, nerd. Nice. <laughs> I kind of love this thing. Head giving head. It was an easy one. Sorry, I had to take it. Oh, just when you thought the Fox Ranger action 
has come to an end. This game was so popular that it got a sequel. Even when she was given heads, she never lost her head. She said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. More incomprehensible nothing. Somewhat comprehensible. Okay. So far, I'm getting that this thing creates loud noises. I think it's an alien plot to give the Earth tinnitus by dropping a probe into the Atlantic. And then everyone will have slightly annoying healing pro uh, hearing problems and healing problems. Why not? Cold-blooded right there. The title screen. Whoa. Graphics. Oh shit, 3D? And to think <laughs> this is the same year Jurassic Park came out. Oh! Is your face a little small for your head? <laughs> it's a mix of small face and vine rising. And then suddenly... <laughs> Is suddenly completely different art style? Spike ships. Sounds drunk. <laughs> it sounds like they recorded their audio in a large toilet room. Yeah, toilet room. I, I, I think I've had enough of this. Please, okay, alright, I can't skip this. It won't let me skip this. Oh, please! 
高値Remember, in order to play this space fight game, you need all of this lore. All of it. So you can get in your ship and shoot the enemies that last forever. Cool sound effects. It's just someone blowing an exhaust port into a microphone. Ooh. Oh, look at Middies. <laughs> it sounds great. Whoa! Oh, my God, my fucking face is melted. We haven't shown the ship from enough angles. I'll bet you 15 quid that the main game, the gameplay is very disappointing compared to what we've just witnessed. I guess we'll never know, it just froze. Sorry, they, they allocated too much space to the cutscenes, and the gameplay had to be cut. Oh, no, 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 we just had to wait for the music to finish. Holy shit. My... I'm shooting piano notes. Why... Why... Why is the shooting... Why is the shooting a piano midi? This is a hard game to look at. It's a fucking hard game to play. You don't know where you're gonna end up shooting. For some reason, the bullets are tied to a piano, so great. I mean, the music sounds kind of badass. It sounds like something from Capcom in the 90s. Switch weapons or do anything, none of it's working. Just keep in mind, Star Fox came out a year after this. On the Super Nintendo, no less. That's the type of like leap that was made from 93 to 94. Sounds like the dragon is slurping. Wow, so much fun.
It's a good thing we know all that lore. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Luke, you've turned off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Now it's a different kind of game. <laughs> now it's top down. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> I, I doubt I doubt this is a thing that, that actually was programmed into the game. I think the MIDI is broken. There is like a MIDI explosion that's just defaulted to piano. But it's, it's pretty fucking amazing. Whoa, Jethro Tull over here on the flute. Jesus. Shooting all over the place. More insane drums. Get that percussion. Get it as wacky as possible, please. Wow, it, it, it really is just like randomly generated MIDI music. No style, no grace, no melody. That was a fascinating game. It was big and dumb and stupid, but also kind of like entertaining for a little bit. It's really, 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 really odd. Okay, this one is, um, this is Krusty's Funhouse. I did it. I got the password. <laughs> Piracy overcome. Hey kids, it's me, your Uncle Krusty! Hey, now that's not a good hook. That's not a good Krusty. Yeah, man, eat. Hi kids! Hi kids! Some pesky rats have infested my lovely funhouse and I need your help to get rid of them! I don't know how to do a crusty voice. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. animation All right now I just have to figure out how to open the door Okay enter It kind of looks like a game How 
How do I kill? I have to throw crusty burgers at them, I think. Or not. Bort, Bort, please, help. I think this is kind of like lemmings. Delightfully devilish, Krusty. I just don't know how to grab the block. Every button is being pressed. Did, did Krusty just give up on life? Crouch on the block. Oh, obviously. Of course. Alright, I bring them to the Bart machine and then Bart kills them. God. Krusty's so happy, he just killed, like, a family of living beings. So happy! This isn't that bad, this is probably the best game I've played tonight. Kind of device over this way. There we go. Oh, uh, right into the Bart slaughterhouse. But really, though, no, no, no. Who, who thought this music was a good idea, though? I get it. It's supposed to be like clown music, but it it it, it makes me it makes me suffer. Someone in chat just said, Abort Simpson. All the while, Krusty. Krusty is so happy. Whoops. Got rid of my last steamed ham. And you get items from the purple blocks. Okay, I pressed a bunch of buttons near the purple block, but I couldn't actually open it, so I just gave up. being told that they they were pies that I was throwing, yes. What, did the music get louder? That's weird. Aurora Borealis localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. Can I see it? No.
I, I can't be I can't be doing that. Cool game, cool game, but it it I feel a little crazy, just a little bit crazy. Lars the Wanderer. Man, we're not even halfway through this collection. That's the that's the sad thing. There's so much more. Why why are there so many bad DOS games? Try to speed through a couple of these. We still have PS1 trash stash to get to. Well, none of the usual buttons work. Wow, I went to press alt tab to get out of the um the game for a second and it worked. Whoa, look at look at this. Oh my god, those bobs. This is like if Navi showed up decided to stream on Twitch. Fucking hell. Animation game is on point. Really good animations here. <laughs> Fucking Maple Story, Lars Story. This is straight up Zelda 2. Well, not really. I don't know what I just bought. <laughs> Okay, so Marth and Eris in the same game for the first time. Just trying to find the button. To oh oh. All right, I'm ready to leave. Okay, I'm I'm ready. Japel story. <laughs> well, I'm never going to be able to get out of this town. I have zero gold. I'm sorry. I have no magic. No, no magic. Last Hero in China is next. That just looked like a good game that I couldn't, you know, play because of the language gap. But it looked all right. I'm good. I'm good on the Lars game. Especially when we've got games like The Last Hero in China. What I think you uh, dun, 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 young Chen Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, having a bit of an issue here. Try lasthero.exe. There we go.
victorious yet oppressive. Wow. This appears to be my only attack. Oh wait, no, 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 I have Flying Kick. I don't know how I activated Flying Kick. It's not an easy ability to make... ...happen. The last hero in China is now dead. Really, really bad controls, but I mean, I didn't have to tell you that. You could just see it. Sometimes you can see bad controls. Alright, turn! Turn! Oh my... God, this game is impossible to play. <laughs> Wing Dwight. No, no more. It's just like fucking poking at me. Everyone's prodding and poking. Hopefully that's the last time we have to see that game. Little Monk. I'm like... I'm like... Clasping my forehead. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with like secondhand embarrassment. Of the game I just played that I have nothing to do with. Dude from Dragon Ball Z and Punk all in one. I'm not in control of the character. Yep, I'm not even playing. Playing. Throwing cherry bombs? The fuck? I can just infinitely throw them as I pick up garlic. Oh, no, no, that, that was a pork bun, I think. Some nice, <laughs> more maple story assets. No. No, uh, there's, there's mushrooms in every game. The explosions are crying. Just like me on the inside. Yeah, yeah, loud sound effects. Summon some fucking tornadoes, great! Vine Shroom... <laughs> Vine Shroom discovered! Alright, that was a Little Monk. It was not completely terrible. I think, um, there should be a little bit more vetting next time. Like, I, I feel like... So far, maybe... I don't know, 25 to 30% of the games I've played so far. 
just weren't worth even looking at. Little Witch. Um, I can't wait to get to Super 64 Classic. That sounds great. But yeah, this one's Little Witch. And like I said, I'm going to go through these even quicker now. Excuse me. Jeez. All right. Yep. You got it. It's like we're not getting through this quick. I'm sure it's riveting. Real page turners. They were not. I've seen this crow before in a previous game, didn't I? We've seen enough. We've seen enough. My Love. I don't like the name of this one. My Love Chaos. What? Again, for the sake of being able to get to everything I had planned tonight. I'm going to be skipping through some of these games a little bit more quickly. Danby quality. Yo, I'm a floating bird! Samsung, really? They're wacky. Utterly confused. Every new scene just adds another layer to the confusion. That was a cool dude. Got boing sound effects. They get like warts when they get hit on the head. That's classic cartoon shit. Yep, no. Still confused. More layers of confusion being added every moment. Dance to the house. English lyrics? game. It sounds awful. Just a side-scrolling beat-em-up with some 3D effects. I just play P 
and giddy is next. Yes, P. P E E. Man, I love I love Sunday trash stream so much. Voice option. Legal command. Well, that's a shame. I was really hoping this would load. Here it is. A game by Family Pro. P and Giddy. Graphic poem and art, you say? Illusion Blaze? What? What the fuck is this? This isn't P and Giddy. What? It's a fucking ad for another game. In the folder of the other game. Well, okay, look, here's here's what it says, and I can't get past this menu. Maybe someone in chat can help, look. Right? So, it wants me to choose a thing. But then it's illegal command. So, <laughs> hang on, I think I have to type the whole thing. Oh, come on! Thanks, chat. Now we can watch piss games. Um, is that a frog? Ah, some nice piss smoke in the distance there. Told you, P and Giddy. Sorry, but I have to be P. They just didn't bother. <laughs> they didn't bother to check what the word P meant. Another beat em up. Forgive me when I say this is not the type of game I thought would be a beat em up. I pressed escape and now this happens. Stretch command escape is stretch. That wasn't worth it. Uh, next is Prince of Evil.
this stream is turning into a regretty stream. Here we go. Maximum regretty. we not hear this music already? Everything's just kind of blending into each other. I feel like we've seen some of these visuals. We we've heard the music. Oh, no shit. Look at that. That's kind of awesome, actually. That was- that was kind of scary. Samurai must throw power to defeat, I guess, ghost dresses? Like, I'm begunning thoughts by the hundred. Are like skeleton marionettes, I think. I, I guess it's fine, is my review of the game. I, I gotta see what Super 64 Classic is. I'm sorry. I listen, it sounds too good not to do right now. Please let this be a Mario bootleg. Uh, oh no. No, no, it's just 64 classic games all in one. Well, damn. Yay. Max Garbo. All right. Rage of Tiger, Blood, Money, and Tears. <laughs> I think it's good. That's another good name. It sounds like a, like a 50 cent video game. Not like 50 cents to buy. I mean, like the rapper, 50 cent. Okay, it's not working. Just a second. Here it is. It's got a lot of graphics. Prepare yourselves. Fucking first, world's first chalk video game made with chalk GFX.
Hanin, Kent, and Mango. <laughs> On. Okay. Q. I have to press Q to select a character. Amazing. What the fuck? Oh. I don't think I like chalk graphics very much. Just slide on over. Just <laughs> sliding on over. This physically hurts my soul. I know those two things don't go together, but they are right now. It's it's really bad. It's hurting. It hurts my eyes too. Oh, I hate looking and sa it, this. It sounds as bad as it looks too, <laughs> which is saying a lot. Oh man. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go through this one very quickly, too. Um, there's definitely a theme with tonight's games. I don't know if you've noticed the theme. Can anyone tell me what the theme is? If you do, you get extra credit. Shit! Congratulations, Count Deku, you did it. And, and Korea. Sometimes. The Orient, someone else in chat said. I like that. Long ago, there was a beautiful kingdom called Shake that was ruled by a brave leader named Shaki the Wolf. One day, a powerful villain appeared called Midnight Sword. A vicious lion warrior. <laughs> Who is determined to bring chaos and destruction to all of Shake? Oh, that's good. Shocky the wolf retreated to the land of giants with a few of his close fall. <laughs> like it was so serious, and then that happens. It's like I can't take this serious now. Some nice ear hurt juice. sake. I've increased the cycles too much. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. I think I broke it. I broke it. I tried to make it go faster, and then I just- I just overloaded it. I'm sorry, we have to not do that one. Shaolin Camp Kings. It's where I'm from. Shaolin Camp Kings. For a mascot! What the fuck? 
That was the fastest amount of things that could have happened in that short amount of time. Okay, how many intros do we need? <laughs> Bert? Really, Bert? That's his name, Bert? Scary. <laughs> Upper Decker. We got an Upper Decker here. <laughs> How? Di Diablo! <laughs> well, that's definitely a Diablo-looking motherfucker, let me tell you. Kerr? N no other l consonants or vowels? Just Kerr? Alright. Well, I'm ready to play your fucking stupid game now. Let's do this, come on. Oh my god. I- I- I can't even... Next, that was the whole game, everybody. Super Cop. Okay, but why are there spiky dildos on his shoulders? I don't know if I would trust this cop with my life, would you? Look, look at those eyes. The eyes betray the individual in this case. I've got all of eight seconds of loop. up is that the super mario world ghost house in the background ah! jesus it's a modified mario background at least I have a gun, but I don't seem to be able to use it. Yeah, cartoon characters tend, you know, tend to have very intense screams of pain. Oh, there we go. It's, just, it's a crapshoot with these DOS games. You don't know which button you're gonna get, so collect some ice cream. really <laughs> really good all right well I did the shoot you can never accuse me of not shooting enough now super Tetris almost done Almost done with the DOS games, then we take a quick break, and then we come back with PlayStation 1 games. The PS1 collection from Russia and other places that I did a couple weeks ago, or almost a month ago now, I thought was really good. And I've got more from the same person, so I'm excited to dig into those. Wow, that was a ti- what the fuck? Um, Super Tetris, eh? So, so here's a couple of girls looking at an elephant real quick. You know, Tetris.
couldn't do the, the flip in time. Uh, so you wouldn't believe this, but this Tetris actually controls like ass. I know you're thinking, Vin, how could a Tetris game control like ass? It does! But that's what we do here on the Sunday Trash Stream. Look at that, I couldn't even- I was trying to rotate, couldn't even rotate. I was too close to the wall for rotation. Who wants to go to Atlantic City with me? Anyone want to go to Atlantic City? We'll listen to some Bruce Springsteen. Specifically that one song, I'll Scream. Pass out on a slot machine, end up in the frozen ocean. This game makes me want to be a derelict in Atlantic City. Like, I feel like last time I was there for that convention, I didn't- I didn't fully take advantage of it. You know, I didn't- I didn't pass out. There was no... There was no passing out. This game makes me want to pass out. Adventures of Eel. Adventures of Eel? Not Joel. Eel. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Oh, I thought this was gonna be like a super serious game and then fucking Tweety Bird shows up. It's an interesting attempt at 3D. It's really going down. All these new Pokemon just causing trouble. It is Woodstock from Peanuts. It really is Woodstock from Peanuts. Huh. How how does this fit what we just watched? <laughs> like, we got this crazy intro of the fucking Earth splitting asunder. Evil Pokemon. And then this nice, this nice little platformer here. Kind of like a Rayman type game. It plays well. Not that anyone should play it, but it, it actually feels like a game. Again, I'm not really sure all of these were fit for streaming on this here Sunday stream. Um, D Swizzy, if you're watching, and anyone else that makes me collections on the regular, you know who you are. Just be very, um, I would say limit. Here, here's my tip for best stream practices. <laughs> Maybe like the top 10 to 15. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is like 30, almost. I think we could have done like 15 of the best. Usually I, I go for like 15. So, you know, for the future. 
it's still kind of interesting for me from just a standpoint of why does this exist? And, oh, wow, this does exist. Like, that was the adventures of Eol. This one's the adventures of Icky. Oh, sorry, Tippy. <laughs> That's later. Ip Ippy's later. Not too much later. Alright, this gets 60 seconds. I thought that was a wizard. Turns out it was just an animu. Dragon. Huh. I'm not playing. It took me a minute to realize that this was a demo. What the fuck kind of demo is this, though? It's about as bad as I am. Okay. Next. Day 3 Dragon Force. This isn't the Dragon Force you're thinking of. This is the type of Dragon Force that doesn't sound very good to listen to. Oh shit, it's like UN Squadron. I'm going to skip the Icarus game because it's the same developers, so forget about that. This one is um, Journey to the West. I'm just happy the games mostly load. I was really worried about that. Like, some of them didn't load. Like, that one game in the beginning didn't load. At least we got to see them. Even for a little bit. Okay. One of one of these characters is not like the others. Yep, that's me. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta be the pig. Definitely. Oh, this is fucking amazing. Mate, look at this fucking game. Bacon for years. It's a sumo pig. Destroying devils with a rake. Fucking them up with a rake. I think I'm getting like really real talk. I'm getting so desensitized to weirdness because of Sunday streams. What? What the fuck just happened? Did I like step off the bridge? For a second. Oh. <laughs> a little too close to the bottom of the bridge. Whiz Pig's Journey West. Legend of Dragon. Definitely not a generic title. This right here is going to be the game of the show. This will define any future DOS games that I stream. 
from this point forward. This is going to be an experience we will never forget until we do, which is that there's a fatal error in the executable. So never mind any of that. Oh, wait a second. Something's happening here. I got it. I got it. That was... Was that not an instant message sound? Pay no attention to that character's hat on the statue. Is this fucking Grawl? Way to just fucking start me in the middle of a shit show. No learning curve whatsoever. Far? That seems like a Super Mario Brothers asset. But yeah, it's just it's just Zelda, but you're like a monkey fella. It really reminds me so much of Grawl though. Grawl is still more, like running. It was such a good idea in theory, but I could never get it to work. It would always crash. I was never able to fully explore the game. Probably wasn't worth it. But I mean, the idea of a massively multiplayer at Link to the Past sounded so cool. It's still around. Wow. Well, I'm not. And finally, Van Slug X Mission. Yep, that's cool. The final game of the DOS showcase, right here Van Slug X Mission. Soft action, loud noises. Okay. Samsung once again putting their stamp of approval on excellent video games, right? AD 2015. Okay, so now this is three years ago. Sure predicted a lot of advancement. kind of looked like Rachel from Blade Runner. Alright, Man Slug is here, I know. Let's, let's start the game. Oh, this is another one of those intros that you can't skip. 
원래 결코 자네를 실망시키지 않을 만한 오답을 하지. <laughs> he shoots, he rides, he likes back surgery, or whatever the fuck he likes. He doesn't have a mouth. Now he does. Too much fucking mouth. There can be no more body check after the shoes. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Strange subway. That's me? We know it's not. That that is very much not the character that we saw in the cutscenes. I love Elvis in the bottom. No, I guess it's him with all his modifications. Big mistake. I love Elvis. It's like little mini Jabba the Huts. Some really, really intense frame rates we've got going on here too. I'm just gonna leave him there, you know, drowned. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Big mistake is right. Big mistake. All of these games were a big fucking mistake, specifically this one. All right. Well, that was MS DOS games. It's a little, a little regrettable, but you know, at least a couple of them were all right, and I got a, a little bit of enjoyment out of it. Why don't you stick around for a couple minutes? I'm going to play a song. We'll be back with... I don't even know what we're... <laughs> I don't even know. Let me read a couple titles. Adibo and Paziral. Agent Armstrong. Is No Goat. Music 2000. And of course... Sitting ducks, continuing with the duck theme of the night. So those are just some of the wonderful experiences that I'm sure are going to be great. So stick around and I'll see you in a couple minutes with PlayStation 1 Trash Stash. Thank you for watching. Stick around.